Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 8. I'm your game master, Darius. Yes, I have gone back to the PlayStation 2 because it is reliable after a fashion. I need to see about replacing some bits for it because sometimes it might get a little bit of a purple tint. But regardless, as we left off, we had arrived at Peregrine Key. Apparently, you pronounced the Q as a K. Uh, and I had done a little bit of grinding just outside here to get some items, more specifically. The strong medicines, which you can get by taking two herbs and slapping them together. And then you can get a rose root by taking an herb and a special uh, strong medicine and slapping those together. We'd also, let's see, I went and bought the scythe because we will be using scythes every so often. And it's also just straight up stronger than the mallet right now. Uh, we'll get into what we'll do with the mallet later. And I think that was pretty much it. Because everything else we don't need just yet to... Well, we don't need to do anything super awesome chocolate covered special with it yet. Diggling's. So pretty much, uh, since we, since I got the abilities, I've been more or less just using some of these abilities. Oh god, I forgot to go into what else it is that I've gotten. Oh boy, the dingling summoner jargon. So pretty much any time. That was not as much damage as I was hoping. Any time that I have Darius attack, I've been using flame slash because it does just base more damage unless the creature is resistant against fire. But, Dragon Slash. Uh, can't use any of his abilities with the Scythe. So we're just gonna kill a Durgan. And she has learned quite a few spells. Let's go crack a That is not as much damage as I, I thought it was gonna do. Don't buff up the Jargon. There we go. Playing the Dargon's not that bad. Kiss when I had an ability that she used was, that wasn't Blow Kiss. But I guess I was, don't remember. It's been a couple of weeks. I won't lie. I've been a little hyper-focused on job-related stuff. Uh-huh. Good. Good level up. Four skill points. And of course, I forgot to open up the goddamn PDF. One second. I have a mighty need to use the guide. Anyways, I could go Courage, but with four points, I'm going to put them all into Swords. Because at 30, we get something that would be real good like for the hero to have. Especially considering one of the areas that's coming up. We'll see what I mean when we get there. Oh yeah, I... I thought long and hard about trying to just play via the emulation, but it really just wasn't working out for me. It was just a whole lot of bad times not working. Uh, oh, that's right. We do have a Sizz as well. I seriously missed the other one. Oh, well. I'm glad these guys are asleep, because they do give quite a bit of experience. But they can hurt quite a bit. Okay, I did have Kasap, but we'll do a Sizz again. Good. No! They're asleep! You prick! Now you sleep eternally. And now nah, we'll just have Jessica attack, attack. Like that. <laughs> Bullfinches. He's a pun. But yeah, there was just a lot of... Eh, to how it looked. And honestly, 
this is far more consistent, so I'm far happier with it. Even if it is a little bit fuzzy, I guess. She slides. The three of them here. <clears throat> Let's target this individual one and give. Nope. This is the other ones. Good. Very good. Most. I think most of the. Various. Um. Weapon skills do have eventually something to make it so as everyone has an AoE attack. But it's been a while, so don't quote me on that. Oh, I thought there was something there. Well, why not? Let's take a little pit stop, shall we? Faithful servant of the goddess, yeah, quick save, why not? Do you happen to have an inn inside? Because uh, that would also be lovely. Theoretically speaking, you should be, at all times, working on something in the alchemy pot. Theoretically. Thing is, though, you don't always need to. It's fine. Please take care, my child. Because also, the alchemy pot is a really good way to make some little bit of good money here and there. Here at Mela Abbey, we are all for repose for the spirit. If it is repose for the body you seek, may I suggest that you go across the river, take lodging in Simpleton. Mm, da, da, da. Mela Abbey is the most important place of worship on this continent. Like you have traveled far to pray here. Almighty Goddess, now may I be welcomed at the world at the gates of heaven when I pass from this world. I paid 5,000 gold coins. Ooh. Oh, Goddess, have I not paid enough? Please let me be rid of the debt collector once and for all. Mela Abbey is a sacred place under the divine protection of the goddess. Leave your secular life at the door and pray for her mercy. Yeah, nah. If the weight of the sin bears down upon you, may I suggest a contribution of gold to the abbey. This will please the goddess and she will grant you an indulgence. Somehow I don't believe that. I mean... Maybe? Oh, speaking of the alchemy. I actually forgot what we had cooking. More strong medicine. Let's see. And again, we can take... Let's see. I think we can take strong medicine and strong medicine and put it into something else. I haven't tried it, though. But for now, I'm just going to do more strong medicine and strong medicine. Uh, start. This pot should always be a rumbling. Theoretically. Really, I should buy more medicinal herbs to do that, but... Unwashed vagrants are not permitted to approach the holy altar. May the goddess strike you down. This is exactly why the Templars need to guard it. A little bit of an overreaction there, bub. Oh, you came over here on the ferry, did you? I do love boats. There's doors to go through. Hello? The army is demanding donations from me now, you know. It never used to be the case, not when the old Templar captain was in charge. As the anniversary of your grandmother's passing, let us hold a special mass. Naturally, there will be a small matter of a fee. I sense corruption. Oh, where's Angelo? I only come here to see him. I never miss a day because each new day is a new chance to catch a glimpse of his of my scrumptious hero. All the other boys are such bumpkins. They're all so boring. 
How about you? Anything fun to say? Mela Abbey belongs to the Trinity of Sacred Sites, along with the Holy Site of Neos and the Savela Cathedral. In his younger days, our Holy Premier, the Lord High Priest, graced us with his presence here. Whenever we pray, we turn to face Savela Cathedral, where His Holiness resides. Hello, sirs. Halt! Who goes there? I don't know you. What are you doing in here? You need special permission to enter here. Leave now, unless you want to die by a Templar sword. I ordered you to keep strangers out, not to be rude. We have a reputation. Do you want to sully the name of the Templars? Martello! I'm sorry, Captain. I apologize for the heavy-handedness of my men. We've had some trouble with strangers of late. Our duty is to protect the Abbey. We cannot permit nameless travelers to wander around at will. Matters within the Abbey are trouble enough. But that's no concern of yours. These are the Templars' quarters anyway. I trust you have no business here. So I would ask you to leave. I warn you, my men are ill at ease. I may not be able to stop them next time. Man, as a kid, Marcello always seemed like a dick. But, you know, he was right ish. Still a dick. Just a little bit more right. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Ooh. A little undercrofty section. I love how the music sounds in this area. I don't know. It's got its charm to it. I'm gonna say that a lot about this game. Boy, I love this game's music. I love this game's music. I love this game's music. I love holy water. I won't lie, though. I have forgotten a whole lot of the story beats. Whole lot of the story beats. Ooh. We nearly missed these pots. Two, two mini medals. Ah, ah, ah. That's a dead end. Okay. I think it's safe to say that we leave now. Um, probably want to hit the save point or well, save priest before. Shut up, phone. We get out of here. Never know. What enemies lie nearby? Hello. Just save it again. Now, with how the um priests inside sound like that they are charging for their services, you'd think that they'd make it so as we also had to pay for uh, saving and whatnot just outside here. Man, one of that been silly. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Well, something something crossed the river to Simpleton. Actually, before we go further... Okay. We're more or less just double checking um, health and shite. Oh, now we're just encountering the Jargons. Yeah, let's, uh, let's fix that. Not blow kiss. I do want to point out one weirdness when it comes to this game, and that's its controls. Uh, for the most part, you can use X in order to confirm shit. Like, in the, these menus. But you still have to press... Uh, triangle to cancel. But the other thing is that circle is also to confirm, but it's also to 
stop confirmation or um, cancels in some other menus too. It's a little bit confusing. Oh yeah, I suppose I could go over a few things that had happened when I leveled up too. Love that. But this game. Um, boots. The only one. So he does have uh, Sizz. I think this is just from leveling up. And he has Sword Attack plus 10. Which is great. Uh, I went and got Whistle because it will help in faster grinding. Because yes. And for her, I went the path of the... Went the path of Sex Appeal. Because not only did it give her the attack of Blow Kiss which has a chance of temporarily preventing the enemy from attacking, but gives 1 in 16 chance to charm monsters, as in they will just look at her and decide to not attack. It's pretty goddamn great, I will not lie. There is an improved version of that uh, later on down the line when we continue th going through her sex appeal. Alright. I'm gonna try two strong medicines. Nope. Oh, two strong medicines. Yeah, there we go. I do believe you're onto something here. Bum 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 Let's see that way. Welcome, pilgrims. You are now entering Simpleton. I guess this is the way we want to go. For the town of Simpleton. It's a simple place. This used to be a really lively little town, but that all changed when the Lord of the Manor passed away. It was the plague that got him, you know? But it doesn't... done the... The cock and bull, any harm? Night and day. Sorry, that threw me off. All year round, you'll find me here serving the good people of Simpleton all the booze they can hold. How the hell can they afford it all year long? The lord of the manor who used to run things around here about ten years ago was a right nasty piece of work. Corrupt, womanizing cheat he was. Everyone was glad he when he kicked the bucket. He left a son behind, mind, by the name of Angelo. It's crying shame for him, losing his family at such a young age. Now he's condemned to a life at the Abbey. That's the second time we've heard of this angel, old fella. Well, before we go to the cock and bowl, why don't we go to the inn? Get some proper rest. Spend the night, or just rest a while. We will rest overnight. I do like that they make it so as the inns you can stay at uh, until nighttime. Because, good lord. As much as I do like the day night system in this, it can be a little bit egregious. Small place. Got that staple of that singular building that uh, counts as an inn because it has four beds in it. I dig it. Alchemy is a really useful skill. You can bung a load of commonplace items into a pot and make some really unusual things that you won't find in any shop. Take strong medicine, for example. You can make it from really cheap ingredients, but sell it for a small fortune. That's something worth remembering. Although you can have too much of a good thing. Sell too much of a rarity and the price will drop because it's not rare anymore. Moderation is the name of the game. You know, I don't know if what he's said actually does have impact. I don't remember it having any impact. Alright. Uh, let's try out the cack and bowl. As in the foul. The perverts. And so ends another class. Time for the next round. The lord of the manor who used to rule the roost around here was a truly bad man. Yes, bad through and through. His wife wouldn't give him a child, so he went off and had one with his maid, just so as he'd have an heir. 
course, then his wife, D.I.D., did have a child. I read that differently. Did have a child. Angelo, they called him. So the firstborn was hung out to dry. The maiden was fired too, of course. And the illegitimate son was packed off to Mela Abbey without so much of a word. Terrible fate if there ever was one. Always loved how lively the music were in the bars. Hiya, have a seat. Anywhere you like. I hope Angelo doesn't get himself into trouble. The man he's playing against looks like a real bruiser. I'll put drinks on the table of anyone who's willing to pay. That's the way I do business. That Angelo fellow might be a Templar, but he certainly likes his drink and his gambling. Not to mention his women. He's a lowlife, all right. Ah, I wish I was him. <laughs> Maybe don't aspire to be... Angelo. I lost to Angelo again today, just like yesterday, and the day before that. Here's to another failure, then. Let's check upstairs before we uh, talk to the obvious plot people. Anyone up here of interest? Angelo's downstairs gambling again, I think. He's a sinful wretch, that boy. Mind you, I don't suppose we can point the finger. We sneaked out of the Abbey ourselves, and here we are drinking. If Abbot, your friend Sesco, wasn't protecting him, that unruly playboy wouldn't be, would have been expelled from the Abbey long ago. Although that said, the contributions the Abbey receives from wealthy patronage personages would take quite a hit if Angelo wasn't in the order. The rich are very peculiar with the way they seem to, seem to like prayer, hearing prayers read by pretty boy monks. Sir, it's called a comma. I lost breath several times in those conversations. Third mini medal. I'm only pedaling like this because no one's come to the shop for a while. Oh. Oh, okay. This is the first. Okay. We can get the wizard staff here. Oh, and the sledgehammer. I feel like I should have ground for more money. Probably nothing I can really sell. Oh, anything I want to sell in, in particular. That's one of the cool things about the alchemy system. You look at everything, and unless you have like a specific list of things that you know that you can uh, use with alchemy, you'll go, oh, but I could keep it. People think just because I'm from Simpleton, I can't run a successful business. But I'm a decent trader, you know? Wanna buy something? Do y'all have shops in here or not? Ooh, chainmail. Oh, turban. God, I'm gonna have to grind once we're done with business around here. We use this dumb way to, to bring food and drink from upstairs. That's actually pretty smart. All right. Not now. I've almost got this game in the bag. What? You little runt! You must be cheating! Take it easy. No need to get excited. I know it hurts when you lose and all, but... What? Oh, I get it! You're with him! Oi! You wanna watch it? Don't go throwing accusations about. You don't wanna get on my wrong side. Take it easy, you guys! What are you, a couple of cavemen? Ah, oh, what are you doing? Think you'll get away with that just because you're a lady? Hey, what's with you two, eh? Two blokes ganging up on one bird, behave. That's it, you oaf. Those are my mates. Oh, 
So who are you? You don't look like simpletons to me. Anyway, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I managed to pull that little caper off without being caught. He was such an easy mark, I got a bit carried away. Still can't hang around. Don't want any more trouble. What? I hope you weren't hurt by my little jape. Are you all right? You're out of luck. I'm fine, apart from you leering at me. By way of thanks for helping me, and as a memento of our encounter, the name's Angela. I live at Maella Abbey. Show them that ring if you'd like to see me. I'll be expecting you. Au revoir for now. Maella Abbey, all right? Just ask for Angelo. Don't forget. Gov, I've been looking all over for you. Gave that lot what for? <laughs> hey, I hope you don't plan on keeping this ring. We're going to Mayella Abbey right now to give it back to that smarmy cheat, whether he likes it or not. Oh, hello, Yangus. I wonder if I can actually go back in there or if I'm kind of stuck in not being able to. Oh, he's gone. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that I can get back in there because, um, I do want to get the staff that's available up there at my earliest convenience. I say earliest convenience, but, uh, pretty much that's as soon as <laughs> possible because I need it for Jessica. But I believe here is where I'm going to save and call an episode. When we return, I will at the least have gotten... Uh, will I? I'm not sure. I'm trying to decide, but... We'll figure that shit out. Maybe I'll just, uh... Make a buttload of money by alchemy. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying this series as much as I'm in love and playing it. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Cheers.